Hello, my name is Jeffrey and we're talking power banks today. Power banks, power banks. Let's get straight into the video. Power banks. All right, so um, this is this is a run of the mill power bank. This is it's not necessarily your basic power bank though, but it's still it's still a very simple power bank. This is the Romo Sense Eight Plus. I have had this since December of two thousand and nineteen, and I have used it for well three years plus, heading towards four years now. And I think it's important because lots of people have come to me to talk about like Jeff. Let's talk about power banks. You know. I've not really seen you do a lot about power banks. Like, what are power banks? How do they work? How do I pick the best one? Etc. 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 So that's what this video is going to be all about. So in the next uh, less than ten minutes, hopefully, I, can, I hope I can be able to squeeze everything into less than ten minutes. So yeah, in the less in less than next next ten minutes, let's see what we can do. So let's define. A power bank is a battery backup. That's what it is. A power bank is a battery backup. I've seen people try so much to paint power banks to glamorize power banks you know for advertisement purposes for marketing purposes to make it seem as like something you know mythical that we cannot really understand Brr, please do not fall for those marketing tricks a power bank as, at its most basic is a battery backup what this means is that this holds batteries that can be used to charge or power up electrical devices that actually accept you know like a usb 5 volt standard of current uh, voltage rather in the absence of well electricity because i've got lights there's, there's one light here there's one light in front of me here and there are lights behind me as you can see so that's what it is a power bank is a battery backup it is that simple so how do power banks work well it's very very simple there is a battery here there's, there are huge batteries here actually and then there is a um there's a motherboard here that holds this um, port. You can see there are two USB A ports here. There's a USB C port. There is a uh, micro USB port, and then finally there is a Lightning port here for for iPhone. So which means that this is the Swiss Army knife of power banks. It, it it accepts everything basically. So the the um, the motherboard or the PCB that's printed circuit board here acts as an interface in between the battery and whatever device you want to charge or power. So if you want to charge anything, you plug in a USB A or USB C port here or micro USB port. You know, this, the micro USB port for charging only so if you want to remove power from this usb c port and the uh, usb a port here and then you plug into whatever device you want to charge or power and voila it works it simply just works so uh, other things you may want to know about power banks are well the more expensive the power bank the more features that it would come with now there are power banks who can do uh, that can do fast charge basically like this is my power bank it can do 18 watts fast charge yeah, my power bank can do 18 watts fast charge. There are power banks that can do 67 watts fast charge that can even charge like basic basic PCs like this one. There are power banks that can charge basic PCs like this. Not mine. Mine can't do that. But I have seen uh, Basios power banks. Yeah. Oh boy. Please don't fall. <laughs> I've seen um, uh, Basios or, or, or Anchor power banks that have 67 watts fast charge that can charge you know, PCs like mine, mini PCs like mine, you know etc etc so there are also power banks that can do wireless charging as well so um it depends on what you're willing to be able to afford the most basic power banks basically just have 10 watts uh, charge plug in charge remove it but the more expensive the power bank is also the more um the more uh, intelligent the power bank would be so it, it have uh, stuff like intelligent charging where when it gets to a certain percentage it's going to you don't have to be the one to go and rush that unplug your smartphone from the power bank it just went once it's full once it, once the phone is full it can communicate with the phone and then cut off charging this this can do it as well because there are times where i've plugged in and i've slept and then i've woken up to see that it's no longer charging my phone is full and then i I'd hit the button on the side here and then i realized that i still have like three or two lights left so that one is good that's how power banks work so now let's move on to the part that many people this is a this is the contest ground this is the war front that everybody wants to have you know everyone and their horse wants to have a racing and that's power bank capacity and i'm here to tell you if you don't already know this power bank capacity is not what it seems but then again if you know this good if you don't already know it well let me open your eyes when it comes to power banks there are two things you must know advertised capacity and and actual capacity advertised capacity is the amount of current charge that is stored at 3.7 volts now voltage refers to the um should I use the word force at which current flows, you know, through a channel, through a wire, whatever. Now, most people save, uh, most people save current at 3.7 volts. But when you want to transfer current, especially over uh, USB, uh, USB ports, the USB standard of charging uh, of, of, of you know, current transfer is between 4.2 volts and 5 volts. Most of the time, we just leave it at 5 volts. It's between 4.2 volts and 5 volts. So 
for you to be able to like use the current here stored at 3.7 volts to charge a smartphone to charge um a light to charge any other device that subscribes to the uh, 4.2 to 5 volts usb standard the voltage here has to be stepped up from 3.7 volts all the way up to uh, 5 volts or yeah basically 4.2 to 5 volts but we're leaving it at 5 volts the current has to be the voltage rather has to be stepped up to 5 volts so when you step the voltage up to 5 volts several things are going to happen first off the reading is going to change when i say reading it means that if you save um if you save um let's say if you save uh, uh 5000 milliamperes at 3.7 volts the number you're going to get when you convert to 5 volts it's going to be much lesser that's what we call the actual capacity the actual capacity is what you work with there is a very simple there's a very simple formula for doing this and it's simply power bank capacity times 3.7 volts at the that's the voltage at which it is stored times 0 0.8 which is a constant all over 4.2 i say it again Av actual capacity is equal to power bank capacity times 3.7 volts times 0 0.8 which is a constant over 4.2 which is the uh, conversion as we are converting from um from 3.7 now to 4.2 so you could do some some people actually change 4.2 and use 5 volts to divide so that's it now when you do when you use that um formula you're then going to get the actual capacity but if that is too much for you to remember put this in your mind that a power bank the actual capacity of a power bank is roughly two-thirds that's two over three of its um advertised capacity roughly two thirds so if you see any power bank at all let's say you you, you are in the market and you want to buy a twenty thousand million per power bank how much uh, how much current is it going to uh, in five volts is it going to supply to your smartphone what you are simply going to do is two thousand mah times two over three then i think two thousand mah times two will give you forty thousand obviously divide by three and that will give us um forty thousand divided by three forty thousand divided by three will give us thirteen thousand three hundred and something approximately now if you check most people most most harness manufacturers who make power banks usually put the advertised capacity and the real capacity as you will see in the image i'm going to put on the screen from my um xiaomi mi2c so that's where you see the advertised capacity versus the real capacity that's the big deal so the advertised capacity is basically eye candy it's eye candy guys it's eye candy so you must know the difference between advertised capacity and actual capacity or real capacity rather because i've seen people come out and they will say stuff like hey jeff you know this twenty thousand um this twenty thousand million per power bank she is going to charge my five thousand million per phone like four times and i laugh and they're like why are you laughing and i'm like it's not so and i'll try to explain this mass to them some of them actually get it and then they accept it there are other people who are like this guy you are you are you are, you are capping uh, what i see there's twenty thousand energy people that put it there are not and i i these days i really don't have that energy to, to start convincing people that much it is what it is so that's it there advertised capacity versus actual capacity that is something that you should know and then moving on how to charge your power bank when you buy it for the very first time the first thing you want to do is charge it full it is very important that you charge it full this is not your, this is not a typical smartphone now these are power banks and power banks are not as intelligent as smartphones so you want to charge it full when i bought this um in december of 2019 i i just i plugged it in and i left it for about six hours thankfully electricity was around for six hours actually so i i let it top up i filled it up it's the same thing you should do with other um and battery backups like ups's for example just let it charge until it's full when it's full with devices like this that's standard let it charge with till it's full before you use it and then also this is very important this is this this there are lithium ion batteries in this thing lithium ion batteries please never run your power bank down please as much as possible you have to try to avoid it avoid running down your power bank please if you want your power bank to last for you although there are times where i have gotten a bit lazy or desperate and i've run it down but i i try as much as possible not to do that very often and this power bank has lasted four years it could have lasted a bit more uh, but uh, like i said there are times i got desperate and i needed i really needed power and then i just run it down but please as much as possible try to avoid it avoid overcharging avoid running down your power bank avoid using it in hot conditions or charging it in hot conditions as well that's very very important heat is the number one killer of lithium ion batteries not overcharge it as well and more importantly do not run it down this my power bank has a, a feature that when it's at its last light here when it's when it's down to its last light it begins to flicker like uh, that's it that's it that's it and then i just simply unplug it and i don't use it again till i charge it so please do not do not please if you want your power bank to last don't run it down don't run it down completely don't kill it completely that is a surefire way of reducing the, the battery lifespan of your um, power bank and what else is there anything else i want to say oh yes how to spot or how to get good power banks and the first thing you want to do here is that you have to rely on um manufacturer name brand name is very important brand track record is also very important and then user reviews 
these are the three most important things you should be checking out for manufacturer name that's the brand name track record and username and i have nothing against romos i actually love them as at when i bought this power bank in 2019 romos were actually one of the best names on the market but ever since then in the last two years that i have been recommending romos to people their user experience has been terrible i don't know if it's the company i don't know if there's lots of fakes on the market most of them even the ones who try to buy from genuine sources said that their experiences were below par and here i am i am on my fourth year with this power bank i cannot come out and claim and say hey i have this power bank it works well for me so therefore the rest of you are capping no that's not how it's supposed to work please and please track record is very important now i cannot recommend this anymore even though i use it and i still love it i can't recommend it anymore so that's one very good example uh manufacturers that you should probably check out are xiaomi and redmi i think their track record is 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 quite impeccable anchor orki and basios uh if you have a bit more money to spend i will always tell you i bought the one i bought this one this one was a tad expensive as at the time and i have gotten value out of it learn to spend more to get more if that's the case because there are times where you, you, you may have to spend more to get more there are many local brands that i am seeing flying around i don't want to mention names so that nobody will say jeff is about our market no please that's not what i'm all about but there are several several local brands right there are several lo local brands that i can roll off the tip of my tongue all right two of them belong to one family then the third one is new on the market and i have seen in fact i am drowned by the advert on facebook and there's nothing to write home about if you see the comments in there i was like i was even thinking i guess i'm seeing there plenty plenty advice so let me even check them out and then i oh i'm like no i'm, I'm heading out you know like when tom walked into the room and then he was like mm, I'm, I'm not doing this anymore so please stick with quality stick with good names names that have impeccable track record that you can use to like you know hit put your hand i don't want to hit the mic put your hand on your chest and say yeah this brand is good that's what I would, all, I would always advise people to do. Do not be penny wise and pound foolish. You would end up buying three, four, five. Instead, when you could have just taken all that money and bought it one and then you relax and enjoy yourself. I mean, if I buy a new power bank this year or next year, depending on when this one dies, I would have gotten a lot of value out of this as at the time I bought it. And with that, we have come to the end of this session on power banks. I hope you enjoyed it. Please, if you enjoyed it, then a, a, a sub to the channel would be would recharge my power bank <laughs> would recharge my mental power bank guys please subscribe to the channel please and i promise to do my best i'm trying i'm working out you know like life ain't easy but i still i, I keep coming here and i make sure that like you know like people aren't suffering the way i suffered when i was coming up because when i was coming up i you, you don't you don't want to know the amount of power banks people's mouth i followed i followed what is called like you know what people general knowledge around 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 and you see you, you don't want to know where it landed me but when you go with good information when you go with very good information you never go wrong you will never, ever, 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 ever go wrong. So let me get out of this chair. I will see you in the next video and the one after that and the one after that and also in the comments. Please do well to smash that like button as well. Like button, smash it as well and then subscribe. Thank you very much for coming. I will see you in the next video.